Brittany Griner um, has been wrongfully detained uh, for more than 150 days in a Russian prison after getting arrested in an airport just outside of Moscow. And so when I know for you, for all of us, this has been top of mind, but something that really hits home and hits close to your heart. It does. It does. It hits home for me because as somebody that's played overseas and understanding um, why we have to go there and play, um, it's difficult to see her there. It's difficult to know that she has not had the ability to really communicate with her family, with her wife, with her friends. It's frustrating to see that she isn't on the front of every news station every single day saying bring her home. Um, but what I'm most concerned with, ladies, is just when she does come home and thankful right now that the president, um, President Biden and the State Department's involved. But when she comes home, there's more work to be done. The mental toll that this probably has taken on her is a lot but it's frustrating and I, I hope that everyone uses their platform to keep keeping her out there in the news because we need to get Brittany home I think you're saying that is sort of so key right here you think about her resume she's an eight-time all-star she's a multiple-time defensive player of the year she's an Olympic gold medalist a WNBA champion she's a member of the all the 25th year all anniversary team now imagine if she were a man Imagine if an athlete, a male athlete with that resume were imprisoned in Russia for more than 150 days. So I am heartened to see LeBron James insist on constantly talking about Brittany Griner. And I think there needs to be a fury associated with it. And that piece is missing because look, did she break a Russian law as it is written? Yes, but you've told us that it doesn't have to be this bad. This is not committing a major felony. Yeah, it's, it's difficult because you think about whenever you go overseas, right? And what people don't understand, I see all these trolls that are on social media is that when you go overseas and play, you're almost in a bubble, right? You're in a bubble because these teams, they know that you're coming in from America, you're protected in some way. And what I mean by protection, I mean, you have security, you have a driver, most of the time you have food, everything's prepared for you to be able to come there and do your job and leave. Not saying it's the right for you to break a law, but what I'm saying is they don't understand the circumstances of which you play in over there compared to us being here. So you're not really a part of society, like you are no, in you your are, basketball you are bubble. In, and especially in places like Russia. I've played in China, like where I've been the only person, the English speaking person on a team. So it's more to it than what people are just talking about on social media. And I really wish, Andrea, people would get facts instead of just going off of what they see online. Well, I think that one of the hopefully silver linings, if you will, of this case is that it has brought attention to the fact that WNBA players are compelled to play overseas to maximize their value. So to put it in perspective, the salary cap, the yearly salary cap in the WNBA is $1.4 million. Brittany Griner was making between one and $1.5 million a season in Russia. So even in the WNBA with her salary, with marketing, with endorsements, she still was not going to approximate a seven-figure salary. And I look at the WNBA and the NBA right now, okay? The NBA owners and the WNBA owners oversee the WNBA salary structure, okay? The, dub, the NBA is now worth $10 billion in revenue. Even Adam Silver suggested that he was surprised that it exceeded expectations. I'd love to see the NBA have a greater financial investment in the WNBA, especially on the cusp of a new media deal potentially and new CBA. Let's get more money to the WNBA so hopefully these women are not compelled to put themselves in harm's way and play abroad. More than anything, though, bring Brittany home yes. as a message we want to be hearing each and every day, all day.